I am at the train station in Guangzhou and in this video we are going to take a high-speed train across China all the way to Beijing. This is the world's longest high-speed train ride and it's also my first time taking a high-speed train in China. So what will the experience be like? Stress-free, easy and convenient? There's also limited space here. Well, this is not ideal. To be honest, I start to get a little bit dizzy. And how long will we actually need for the over 2000 kilometer long journey? Let's find out. Feel free to join. Okay, I am about to enter the train station here in Guangzhou now and the first impression here is it looks like it's a huge airport and yeah my experience with Chinese train station tells me they can be extremely large and confusing if it's your first time here so this recommended to be here quite early I am here now about 40 minutes before departure so let's hope that's going to be enough time to find the right train and where I have to go okay so we have these machines here which are identification machines so every time you enter a train station in China you have to scan your ID card, or in my case, uh, the passport, because yeah, the tickets are always connected uh, with your passports. Hello. So what he's doing now is he's checking if my passport has a ticket. Okay. Okay, thank you. I will give you information about how I booked it and the price later. First, let me find the right train. And yeah, this is indeed quite large here. Wow. Yeah, really looks like an airport, right? And yeah, look at this. I am traveling with a proper winter jacket now. I went shopping for winter clothes yesterday here in Guangzhou because Beijing is currently less than zero degrees Celsius. So it's going to be pretty freezing up there. But wow, have a look at this train station. I think this is the most modern and biggest train station I have ever been to. Wow, if I compare this to German train stations, wow, it's like a different world. Okay, but where do I go now? There's a sign saying check-in. Do I need to check in, like for a flight? Okay, let me figure this out. I have an e-ticket on my phone, but I don't see any gate information here. Yeah. Can you tell me where I have to go for the train to Beijing? Gate B19? B19. Okay, looks like the gate is written on the ticket, but uh, it's written in Chinese here. And by the way, I'm also traveling with a new suitcase, which is way larger than my previous one. So I do have space for all the winter clothes now that I need up in the north. By the way, I'm not sure if I should buy snacks and drinks here now. I would assume because it's quite a long train journey that they will sell something on the train. Do I risk that? Yeah, I think I risk it and don't buy any food here and just hope that there will be food on the train. And here we have gate B19, but seems like it's not open yet. This is correct, right? Yeah. Beijing? Yeah, yes. So unless you have a valid ticket connected with your passport, you can't enter the station and you can't enter the gates here. Okay, my ticket does say carriage 2, seat B12. Probably it's written here which carriage is going to stop where. Coach 16 is there and coach 1 is there. Oh, okay, so I am at coach 2 which then should be at the other end here. Oh, but I have to say, so far the experience from arriving here to get here was actually quite smooth. Once you understand everything, once you understand the system, it's actually pretty easy and everything does make sense. Okay, and here it is, coach number two. So this is written all along the floor here. Okay, let's see if Chinese trains are leaving on time. Scheduled departure is at 11.53, so that is in like five minutes. And I think the train is coming. I'm very excited to go to Beijing. It's been uh, a dream of me for a few years seeing the capital of China. And today is finally the day that I am able to go there. Oh, what was that? Oh. Lighter. Oh, a lighter. The lighter exploded. Yeah. Oh, be safe. <laughs> okay, my first time taking a high speed train in China. Let's check it out. Cool. Okay. First impression here. Oh, I like the, the wood here. And we have a bathroom here. Whew, okay, now the question that I have, where do I leave my big suitcase? That could be complicated if I see this, because this train is already pretty full. Oh, and I'm going to have a middle seat. My tr seat is 12B, which should be somewhere in the middle here. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine. What do I do with my suitcase now? Do you know where I can leave the suitcase? There's a part up there, yeah? And this one I can leave here? Okay. Okay, the small one can stay here. Oh, there's also limited space here. 
To be honest, I'm not sure if I feel good about leaving the suitcase here, which is far away from my seat. By the way, we are leaving now. It is now 11.53, exactly on time. And I'm going to start a timer now to see exactly how long the ride is going to be. Let's do a quick seat review. So the space is totally fine, even though I'm a tall person, 1 meter 90. Especially if you're sitting on the aisle, you can uh, stretch the legs like this. No problem. But yeah, later on I'm going to sit here, in case there's another person coming here, then yeah, I, th I still think it's going to be alright. Please do not make noise, use headphones, okay, that's very nice. Then you can even charge your phone here, I think. Okay, so first impression here, pretty nice. Okay, after less than 10 minutes we already have reached a speed of over 300 km, which is incredibly fast. That's already faster than any train in Germany can go. And yeah, regarding the ticket, I booked the ticket uh, via the Alipay app, and the price I paid was quite exactly 1000 UN, but I I only booked the train yesterday evening so less than one day in advance i think if you book more than that in advance you can get it for cheaper and that is quite exactly the same price a domestic flight to beijing would also have cost but the flight is about three hours so you don't really save time with the train although the train is very fast but personally i also really enjoy taking trains especially if i am in a new country because now i have a full day of basically seeing the whole country we are crossing all the way from the south to the north basically and yet throughout the whole journey we are only going to make five stops before the final stop in Beijing. I can show you uh, route information that I have here connected with my ticket uh, on the screen now as well. So the next stop for example is going to be in over two hours. And yeah, to show you the map really quick, so we started down here in Guangzhou and the final destination is up here in Beijing. So you can see we are basically uh, yeah, crossing the whole country. And it looks like quite a few people are leaving here, but I also can see quite a few people waiting to get into the train. Actually, let me have a quick look. First of all, if my bag is still here. Yes, it is. The yellow bag there. Oh, I can already feel uh, a drop in temperature. Yeah, the more north we are going, the colder it will get throughout the day. Oh, what's also interesting here is you have a sink here where you can uh, wash yourself. So if you feel the need to uh, wash yourself during the train ride, you can do it right here. And there's also a drinking water here. I saw people drinking the water from here and it looks like you can get hot water even and yeah refill. We are leaving again and this train station looks equally as large as the one that we left earlier. Wow, it seems like every Chinese train station is a big one and looks similar like an airport again. And by the way, I'm going to stay in Beijing for a couple of days and after that I'm going to travel to another town in China. So more China videos are about to come, so if you are new here feel free to subscribe to follow the journey. What's crazy is when you're sitting at your chair, you don't really notice how fast we are going. But standing here at the window and seeing the tracks going by so fast, you can really feel the speed of the train, which is insane. Yes, basically the whole time, the speed is constantly at around 300 km per hour. And this is only my second time ever on a high-speed train. The first time was a few months ago in Indonesia. And finally, that was also a Chinese train because the Chinese helped Indonesia to build high-speed trains. I first press the red button to unlock and then press the green button to get water. And by the way guys, this is my new bag, which I got from a company called Level 8, which is an American company by the way, and I absolutely love this suitcase so far. It is way bigger than my previous one. I am traveling full time, so I really wanted to upgrade to a bigger suitcase that is reliable and long lasting, since I use it very often. And this Level 8 suitcase is exactly what I was looking for. For the first time in years, I now have extra space in my suitcase, which is much needed now that I need to travel with winter clothes. I got the Voyager check-in version. They also have smaller carry-on sizes by the way and what's unique about it is the extra wide handle which leads to more room and more stability. Other great features are for example the 360 degree spinner wheels or the TSA approved lock. It feels super smooth to push it around. The suitcase is very light but also at the same time feels very resistant so I'm very sure that this one will accompany me for a long time. They have several different options available on their website. They can ship all over the world and if you want to check out level 8 as well you can click the link in the description or 
the pinned comment and if you enter the promo code CANABROAD10 you can save 10% so feel free to check it out. And we are about halfway through the journey and we have just arrived in a city that you have probably heard of before. The city became world famous in 2020 for not so good reasons though. And it actually looks like many people are leaving the train here. Most of the seats around me including the two next to me are empty now. And yeah we are about halfway through the journey now and so far all of the two stops we have only made were totally on time. And yeah, how do I feel now about halfway through the journey? To be honest, I start to get a little bit dizzy. I had the same problem when I took the high-speed train in Indonesia. Hello. You're sitting here? Okay. Maybe it's because of the fast speed and my body is just not used to it. But uh, as long as I'm just sitting and listening to my audiobooks, I'm okay. But as soon as I start to actually read something on my phone, after a few minutes, I really start to get dizzy in my head. And just like that, we are leaving Wuhan again. So it was a quick four minute stop here. So also all the stops are quite efficient. Just enough time to get people out and get people in. And it is almost sunset time now, which looks actually pretty promising. So maybe later during the ride we will be able to see a beautiful sunset. And yeah, this is a short glimpse of the world famous Wuhan. Do you have something sweet? Water. Uh, sweet? The candy? Let me have a look what she's selling. I'm craving for something sweet. Mm. Okay, can I get this one? And yeah, earlier I also saw someone actually selling hot meals. And yeah, I also think that uh, walking around a little bit or standing actually helps to uh, cure my dizziness because yeah, in the past minutes I actually do feel a bit dizzy, which is a bit uncomfortable, especially when I think about that there are about three more hours left on the journey. And by the way, the class that I am sitting in is the second class. And this is the, the same class here. But there's also a first class and I think a business class available on the train. And yeah, let's also have a quick look at the bathroom situation here. It is a squat toilet. Please don't and we do have a little sink. Ah, this is interesting as well. So this is a squat toilet here. And this one is a western toilet then. So you do have a squat and western options here. Okay, two more hours till Beijing. And I'm just checking the outside temperature here because it is getting really cold. I think I just saw on the screen it's 10 degrees outside now. Yeah, I left Germany in 2019 and since then I basically spent all of my time in Southeast Asia where it's usually not that they're cold. And by the way guys, feel free to also follow me on Instagram, Canabroad on Instagram. I'm trying to reach 20,000 followers there. So if you can help me with that, feel free to follow on Instagram. All right, I do have a window seat now because uh, he just offered me uh, to sit here. Thank you very much. He saw me filming and then he asked, uh, are you a YouTuber? Uh, he offered me to have the window seat so that I can uh, have a better view outside and film the scenery. But yeah, we do have about two hours left until Beijing. It is slowly getting dark now. I can now see on the screen that the outside temperature is six degrees. It's uh, crazy how fast the temperature can change. Like a few hours ago, I was somewhere where it was like 23, 24, 25 degrees. And now we're down to six already. Okay, so we are almost in Beijing now. It should be another 30 minutes or so. And yeah, overall the experience on the train today has been really, really good. It was a really smooth ride. The train is not shaky. The train is very quiet. It was a beautiful experience to basically travel across all of China, see the nature going by and seeing some villages or some smaller cities here and there. So I really enjoyed the train journey today. And yeah, so now we have almost completed the world's longest high-speed train journey. And I am very excited for Beijing, but I am also a bit worried about the temperature there it's going to be very freezing and yeah by the way my dizziness is also okay by now i think if i'm not reading something on the phone it is all all right for the past hour i was just looking out of the window and listening to my books now i feel totally all right so i think what makes me dizzy on the train is just reading reading on my phone dear passengers the next station is beijing Xi railway station yeah, nice to meet you have a good time oh, beijing. thank you very much all right and we have arrived in Beijing. And first of all, let me check the timer. What was the total length of the journey? Seven hours and 37 minutes. And yeah, that is incredible for that length of the journey. The total length of the journey was this right here. And now what's the temperature here? It feels freezing already for me. It is currently one degree Celsius. Okay, this is going to be tough in the next days because I am definitely not used to these temperatures anymore. But wow, it feels good to be here. I'm very excited to be in Beijing. Yeah, I'm already shaking. 
I do have gloves, but they are in my suitcase. I thought I don't need them right away up on arrival. I mean, in Germany, where I am from, we also have winters, proper winters, but I think the coldest I ever experienced in Germany was probably around minus five. All right, and I made it out of the train station. Whew, I feel good now, despite being very cold. And if you are curious to see my previous video where I did a food tour with a local in Guangzhou, then feel free to check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode from China. Ciao, guys.